If you've ever needed to increase the pressure you're getting from your PG pilot, the ideal solution may be a pneumatic relay. Hi, I'm Kyle with Kimray, where we help energy producers solve their biggest control challenges. Pneumatic relays are commonly used to switch pneumatic signals from one source to another. They supply pressure to or exhaust pressure from a particular line or control device and initiate a control function. In this video, we'll cover four common applications for a relay. I'll explain how they work and where you might see them in an oil and gas field. In a signal booster application, the relay is used to boost the output pressure of a control device, like a pilot. For example, here is a pneumatic actuator on a large valve that requires 100 PSI to actuate. A pressure pilot is monitoring conditions upstream of the valve through a sense line. However, the pilot has a maximum output of 30 PSI, well under the 100 PSI required to actuate the large valve. So when the pilot reaches its set point, it sends its pressure output of 30 PSI to the relay via the variable pressure line. The relay then responds by sending 100 PSI from the separate supply line through its output to the large valve actuator so it can open. A second application for a pneumatic relay is for indirect shut-in. Indirect shut-in refers to either a pressure or temperature controlled system that is shut in when there is an upset so that the process does not continue until manually reset. In a temperature controlled system, the indirect shut-in uses a relay to shut down a process to prevent damage to the equipment in the event that the temperature goes over its set point. These can be used in heaters, emulsion treaters, reboilers, steam generators, heat exchangers, and salt bath heaters. In a pressure-controlled system, the indirect shut-in uses a relay to shut down a process to prevent damage to equipment in the event that the pressure goes above its set point. These can be used in separators, knockouts, and other pressurized vessels. If you need to pneumatically control pressure range or gap, you can use the bistable pneumatic relay with two pneumatic pilots. The pressure will fluctuate between the two set points of the pilots. For example, say you want a high pressure control valve to hold pressure between 100 and 300 PSI. The high pressure control valve closes at the low pressure set point of pilot A. The valve remains closed until upstream pressure reaches the high pressure set point of pilot B. The valve opens at high pressure set point of pilot B and remains open until the upstream pressure drops below the low pressure set point of pilot A. One common application for the bistable pneumatic relay for pressure gap control is in a gas lift well. Instead of taxing the compressor by putting a specific pressure down hole, a producer sets the pressure range between 800 and 1000 PSI. You can also use the bistable pneumatic relay to help control a liquid level span. To do this, you need a control valve and two level switches, one set to direct acting and one to indirect acting. As the float on the high level direct acting pneumatic liquid level switch moves upward, a pneumatic output to the lower side of the main diaphragm in the bistable relay is created. As the main diaphragm moves upward in the relay, the small ball on the pilot plug is unseated, allowing supply pressure to signal the control valve to open. As the liquid level lowers on the low level indirect acting liquid level switch, the float moves down, allowing the supply pressure to give a pneumatic off signal to the top of the bistable pilot. This overcomes the on signal and causes the control valve to close. To speak with an expert about our relays or any of the other Kimray products, contact our Kimray applications team. Valve opens at high pressure set point of pilot B and remains open until the upstream pressure drops below the low pressure set point of pilot A. 
<laughs> well, we're gonna need a visual for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>